Okay, hello there viewers, so let's continue. Well, the formula TR plus 1 for binomial expansion over here, you can use it to find the TN term, which we have done in the previous video, or you can use it to find the coefficient. This is just an example. If I say coefficient of x cubed, then the answer is 2. Alright? So, let's go a bit, a bit deeper. And you can even have this kind of application where you want to find application of coefficient or term of independent of x. Where you need to understand independent of x, it means x to the power 0. We go through this once we go to the example. So, for now, we are just going to go for this coefficient of something. So let's try, try this question where you were given 3 plus 2x power of 7 and you want to find the coefficient of x5. Yes, you can use by binomial expansion but that's going to be a bit too long and you can use the tr plus 1 method. Okay, firstly, take this formula all right, and substitute them inside. So r plus 1, remember yourself, in this case your n is 7, this is your n, this is your a and this is including the positive is b. So you just substitute things up. Now you need to expand it out and it can be a bit difficult but follow me slowly and you'll be quite fine. Okay, 3, 7 minus r over here, you just try and expand them up. 2 power of r, x power of r. So you get yourself something like this. 3 power of 7, 3 power of negative r, 2 r, x r. Right? And now we want to find ourselves x5. Okay? How many x do you have there? Just this part of x. So you can do this trick. So xr we are comparing to you compare to x5 so now you get yourself that r is 5 so once you get the value of r is 5 then you can substitute the value of r is 5 into the equation okay now we substitute the r equals to 5 you got this one here you can see the, the value here has changed from what we did before this and we try to expand it out. Be very carefully, press your calculator and you should be able to get this one here. Yes, this expansion is the difficult part and you need to be able to compare. Okay, if you give your answer in this way, is it sufficient for exams? And the answer is no. Because I want myself a coefficient. I do not want the x5. So I just want 6048. So you need to leave your answer in this way. Coefficient of x5 is 6048. Or if you just lazy, 6048 is sufficient for your exam. Okay. okay, so let's have a look on another example. This is a far harder example. We want to find ourselves x squared, coefficient of x squared. Alright, so remember this is your a, this is your b, this is your n. So we substitute things into the formula and you got yourself something like this. Okay, in this case it's difficult, it's far more difficult than last time. So if we try to expand this one and this one, and and do take note this is 1 over x 1 over x I can also rewrite it as x power of negative 1 and this time if we were to expand we got this this part the problem with this question compared to the question before this is last time this is your only x so you're just comparing x5 and xr straight away but for this question you can find x is over here and x is also over here so you don't have any choice but to simplify things further minus 2r minus r i can combine remember yourself from this formula 2 2 2 3 i get myself 2 5 remember from these basics so we con we put this one and this one interact so i get myself x 20 minus 3r uh, things are still the same you want to do compare you want to find the r get yourself the r squared and you compare in this particular case your x is here so you need to compare everything compare x 20 minus 3 r to x squared because it's given here x squared so 20 minus 3 r and you got your r r is 6 okay once you get yourself the r is 6 you substitute the r is 6 back into this equation over here you can see it's r r and the, over here is the tr plus 1 r over there you substitute you got here 3 times 6 is 18 yeah 3 6 18 so once you get here just simplify things out press your calculator and you get your answers should we end over here then the answer is no remember that we are trying to find the coefficient of x squared so we do not want the x squared we just want this particular part 
so you want to write down in this way coefficient of x squared is 210 or this is sufficient enough for your final exams okay that's all for finding the coefficient and the next part is a bit harder this is still doable you just need to be careful with this kind of expansion all right that's all uh, thank you for watching please comment share like and subscribe